Hi everybody. I am uh, Jayan Karam Chetty. We'll be, I'll be talking on the energy efficiency, store rated transformers. It is a part of ATC, aggregated technical and commercial losses on that. So we'll go into this. It is a well known that there is an all round energy crisis all over the world and efforts are being made to conserve energy during the stages of conversion, transmission and distribution. The new generation of the transformers with amorphous metal core called energy efficient transformers have no load losses or reduced to 30% of the conventional transformers. Thus, the no load losses as well as the core heating have come down. As DISCOM uses a very large number of transformers at different stages of conversion, no load losses themselves will be very high. Hence, the energy efficient transformers are best suited in terms of a loss reduction and carbon footprint reduction also. This is the star rated energy efficient transformers, distribution transformer. We have from 16, 25, 63, 100, 160 kVA and 200 kVA and above up to 2500 kVA, the present capacity that is available. Energy efficient amorphous transformers, the iron losses of any transformer depends on the type of the core used in the transformers. The conventional transformers is made up of a silicon alloyed iron grain oriented core. The latest technology is to use amorphous material core. The expected reduction in energy losses over the conventional transformer is around 70%, which is quite significant as the transformers are energized for 24 hours, 365 days and a lifetime of 25 years. Now, energy efficient transformers, the following table shows that no load and full load losses of conventional and amorphous. You can see the no load losses first, amorphous and the CR Jo 180 to 570 is that. Whereas if you see the efficiency has increased from amorphous to CR Jo is 98.7 and CR Jo is 98.20. So there is an increase of amorphous 0.5. Similarly, also, if you go down, CRGO losses are 1500, whereas amorphous loss is only 450. So if you take the difference between 1500 minus 450, that is about 1050 into 24 hours, into 365 days, into 25 days, converting into kilowatt hours, 229,950. Just for one single transformer change, you will be saving this much of energy. So if you are able to change so many transformers, the energy loss will come down proportionately for that. Now, how do you select a transformer? The transformer used with a long-term view should make the purchase decision based on the total owning cost. It's called a TOC. There are two costs in the life cycle of the transformer. One is the purchase price and another one is the cost of energy lost from the transformer over its lifetime. The total cost of the transformer is the sum of the purchase cost plus net value of the energy losses. The decision should be on the lowest, that is a TOC. That is TOC is total owning cost. Now transformer losses, you know it very well. No load losses or iron losses, you call it as, or load losses or copper losses. The total transformer loss at any load level can then be calculated from P total is equal to no load loss plus percentage of a load by 100 of the square of that into P load. That means no load losses as it is, but whereas a P load, full load losses are a percentage of the loading. Now CRGO silicon is used as a core material, has less losses than the standard carbon steel we have already discussed. An alternative to COG is amorphous metal reduces core loss to less than 30%. These conventional steel cores would be expensive. So calculate the life cycle cost for comparison of a cost in the project. Now, if you see the graph, you can see that on the x-axis, we have the loading up to about 100% on the y-axis, the actual kilowatt losses. The no load losses are marked at a 0.5 
with one color and from point 5 increase that is a square of that uh, is the second one it is almost at a 50 percent the no load losses are equal to a fraction of the full load losses that is a 0.5 percent of that approximately so most of the transformers are very efficient transformers in this region of 0.5 so you can say 0.45 to 0.55 if you are able to operate that is what is good happening in case of a, a discoms now distribution transformers the validity up to 13 june 2017 all the products nowadays on a star rated one has a valid for certain time after that the efficiencies are increasing so you are getting a new model if the efficiency increases the losses will come down in this case whatever i have shown earlier compared to that there is a improved efficiency and losses so reduced this we have one star two star three star four star five star as the star number increases the losses will come down you can just have a quick look at a 200 the max the losses first star losses are 11 30 whereas a five star same capacity of 200 kva transformer the losses are 670 so there is so even if you're able to change a one star transformer to five star transformer you will be saving a lot of energy on that now this is also this is a better model than that the reason is this is a valid from 2018 to 2023 so this also if you can see that carefully you observe it and make an observation at your leisurely you notice that there is a change in the as the star rating goes from one to five the losses have further have come down with improved ones now you can see this is a transformer loss comparison i have made for 163 40 25 you can now see that crgo losses of a load losses are almost maybe the same but no load losses no load losses have come down in this case crog2 ma amorphous core transformers now this shows that comparison of a transformer losses left side we have a 1000 kva transformer where no load losses are 1700 watt the right side one is 1600 kva no load losses is 2500 2600 watts many times we think if the transformer is bigger no load losses are more so we are losing no in this case we are not losing carefully make an observation at 0.7 per unit load is a 0 0.7 is equal to 70 percent load losses are 5145 whereas for a 2000 whereas for a 1600 kva the load losses are only 3258 so load losses is coming down here to that transformer rating this load whatever is a 0 0.7 is almost equal to 0.5 percent only so you can always increase the capacity of the transfer rating of the transformer 1000 kva to 600 to 1600 kva provided your loading is around 70 percent and above that you have a good advantage in that for the second transformer it is a 50 percent so you have a 50 percent capacity is available to you for your expansion also this is a great advantage have a good observation on this now energy cost saving also I have written it here for a hundred you can say for a one star one at 50 and a five star one at 50 percent also you can see here in both the cases there is a drop 700 wattage loss has become 435 so energy loss per year is equal to 2321 and the cost saving at the rate of a rupees of 5 per unit is 11600 is the saving just for one transformer you are seeing it in terms of one year only so that is a great savings for you now at this point of time we have made some few observations also you can see that uh, use of energy efficient star rated transformers is a must five star rated transformer gives you more savings than one star rating if the load on the transformer is more than 70 percent to go for one rating higher and save more energy and have a better reliability because of higher rating of the transformer 
Now, ways to minimize the distribution losses, relocate the transformers and substations nearer to the load centers, reducing LT network or increasing the HT LT ratio. That means you have a more HT wiring conductors are run and the LT should be lower than that. Nowadays, you notice that the transformers are put more close to the compound wall where HT line comes and did, whereas the LT line is almost not there. It is directly given to the survey. So LT losses have been reduced. Optimum loading of the transformers in the system, re-routing and reconditioning such feeders and lines where the voltage drops and energy losses are higher. If energy loss is more, our voltage drops are more, you have to rerouting and reconductoring such feeders so that you will be more close to your solution. Now distribution transformers, so what is available in the market? HV to usable voltages, that is you want 11 kV is available, 22 is available, 33 kV is also available on a request. Meeting minimum energy performance standard, that is what the star rating says, and it is available in single phase, three phase, dry or oil filled. Let us use oil filled because they are all out, outdoor applications. And power rating is 10 kVA to 2500 kVA. And transformer loss typically contribute to 30 to 40 percent of the transmission and distribution losses. Energy efficient transformer is important to mention reducing losses. Improvement in electrical steel, that is you have seen it, properties, a loss of a transformer today is half of what is in 1970. So no load losses compared to 1970 after 50 years have become half because of better amorphous steel core. With a new magnetic material, it is possible to achieve even higher efficiency. Amorphous metal core is a modern example. Now, technical committee recommendations for standards and labeling for the distribution transformers. A range of products identified, oil immersion, naturally cooled, outdoor three types of transformers. Outdoor type distribution transformers, 25, 63, 100, 200. You can, as far as possible, standardize on certain, certain ratings of the transformer instead of buying all the rating. Approximately 80% of the total distribution transformer. Limits of temperature raise, reduce the temperature raise limits to top oil and the winding from 45 to 55 and 35 to 40 degrees. This will help you to reduce the current failure rates. Test procedure as per 11 and 1180 part one of 1989 IS. Now, Efficiency values are defined the total losses at 50% and 100% load. The economic efficiencies for AMC occurs between 15% to 20% and the same for the core material occurs between 25 to 46% with various grades of CRGO core material and the copper aluminum winding material. You can use any one of them. But better is always to use a copper, aluminum is slightly brittle, may break also. It is seen the cost of a transformer increases disproportionately when one tries to design transformer beyond economic values. The transformer loading is a dynamic, the utility should plan for future growth, hence efficiency should high at all operating load. That is why the efficiency of 100% is also specified in this case. Now, this is the loss as a comparison. This we have gone to one steel plant and compared it. So rating of 500, 750,000, 2,500. CRGO, you can see compared to AMT, CRGO losses are higher and AMT losses are load but load losses is remaining the same for both the transformers because the copper winding is going to remain the same okay at 2500 you see a vast difference is there 2800 minus 550 that is equal to roughly 2250 watts saving per hour multiplied by 24 multiplied by 365 multiplied by it's a lifetime of three uh, lifetime of 25 years 
Now transformer loss comparison. This is for the smaller ones. The other one is bigger ones. Again, this is generally you are using for the rural applications as well as for an office or a commercial purpose. You can use 100 kV transformers directly. Now, if you have any questions, you can write it. It is this is I'm putting on the YouTube. So after you go through, you can write it. I will respond it as far as possible with that. I thank you very much to you all. This is the second one, and the third one I am going to put it probably in the next few days. Thank you very much once again to all of you.